Spam, 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 spam. Hey, what's up? I'm Toy Insanity today on the Insanity Calendar is indeed National Spam Day, July 31st. We're gonna open this fancy foodies Funko Pop, Funko Insanity, Junk Food Insanity, Snack Insanity, and we're gonna, of course, try two uh, new flavor, new ish. Two flavors of Spam I've never tried, and it's been years since I even tried regular Spam. But we, 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 we are going to cook up some hot and spicky and some hickory smoke. Hickory dickory smoke. Spam brand established 1937 in Austin, Minnesota. Even though the Spamarama is in Austin, Texas. And there's also a famous Spam jam in Hawaii. And both of those festivals take place in April. But here we are, last day of July, National Spam Day. Spam was introduced to the troops, World War II. Okay, let's give it a sniff. Ah, ow. And then, I, then, I, then uh, we'll cook it up. Hot and spicky. <laughs> That's so weird looking. So it is a portmanteau of the two words, spiced and ham. Spiced ham is spam officially but we got some slang sort of acronyms for you people think it's an acronym rather than rather than a portmanteau especially because it's all caps Ooh, it smells like cat food literally so early on people thought it meant special army meat special processed american meat Super processed artificial meat, shoulder pork and ham. They were saying things. They were calling Uncle Spam because it was, you know, it was sent to the soldiers. They were using it to grease up their weaponry, and they were making little smoking devices out of the cans. <sighs> but there is one acronym the Hormel Company does endorse, and it is this. Sizzle pork and mmm. Isn't that corny? They smell the same. They smell the same. Okay. Woo! Their website is chock full of recipes. Break the monotony. For more fun ideas, visit spam.com. Add bold flavor for a spam sandwich. It, it truly, it smells awful. Okay, but I'm gonna slice it and cook it, and you're gonna thumbs it up, and then we're gonna we're gonna try it. <laughs> we're gonna try it. National Spam Day, PRB. <laughs> All right, we, we 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 are back. First ever Spam Insanity. National Spam Day, July twenty. <laughs> July thirty first. 2022. Kitty! I gotta tell you, I did I did a couple things different. I got a hot tip for you. Life hack. Life hack. If you're gonna make letters out of your spam, what you wanna do is cut the letters, cut the letters before you cook the spam. Because it cuts like butter. It literally is a spread. It's very weird consistency. If you ever dealt with canned cat food or dog food, it's exactly the same. It's a spread. So this one, this one, which is the hickory smoke, what I did was is I cut my life into pieces, fried it up, and then I tried to take a knife and cut out the letters. Okay? Now this one, you're going to love this. I did what I just said. I cut the slices. And then, while it was still raw, I cut the letters, okay? And then differently, also differently, see this is fried and burnt. I just threw these on a baking sheet and broil broiled it for just a couple minutes. It looks way different. Now, I did have the dubious pleasure of eating the little scraps that came from the letters. And I gotta tell you, they, they taste the same. They don't taste terrible. I do see how it's a human edible substance, but the hickory smoke and the hot and spicky, it tastes exactly the same. This is not hot at all, okay? 
and it says right there, just said spam, hot and spicky tacos. Spice up tacos. Taco Tuesday, spice it up. And this one, we showed the spam egg and cheese, just like the song. All right. Crispy. Burnt. Mm hmm Yum, yum. Kitty. I'm surprised the cat doesn't want to come over here. It's so similar to cat food. Okay. This one is broiled in the oven. Baking sheet in the oven. Letters cut. You see? This is such a life hack. Letters cut before any cooking. Letters cut after fryage. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm just kidding. I don't think it's great. I think it is perfectly neutral. I can see how when you're in a pinch, you're in a wartime situation. You're in the trenches. I can see how you would definitely want this. Otherwise, pretty weird. Most pork products are neutral to me. I think bacon is really good. The closer you can get any pork object to bacon, this includes ribs, pork chops, ham, spiral ham, Canadian ham, spam. The goal should always be the flavor and consistency of bacon. Because <clears throat> bacon is the only pork thing above neutral what what is a uh, you know like a pulled pork sandwich no give me some bacon okay but to say once more that's in distinct contrast to seafood there's nothing you can do to seafood to get 20 sanity to like it and you know people say it doesn't taste like seafood well what does it taste like not bacon not a hamburguesa Anytime somebody says that, it, first of all, it doesn't taste like seafood. And then I eat it and I'm like, this tastes exactly like seafood. Could I just have some chicken tenders, some chicken nuggets, or even some spam? Happy Spam Day, Spam Insanity 1. Holy calamity, Spam Insanity. Spam Arama Jamma Mama. I'm looking for my man with $40 in my can because I'm a spam junkie. Thumbs up. Goodbye.